Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Fuhrer Reich as Japan. Why are we playing as Japan and we're no longer continuing on with the Germany series? Well, let me just show you. So, uh, if we go back to the main menu here, we can see uh, that the game was updated to version 0.02. We were playing on the 0.01 version before. And now, if I load up that old save file, we will clearly see that... Uh, here's it loads up here. Uh, it is very, very broken. Uh, France and uh, Italy are just gone. Uh, parts of Russia are just gone. Part of the Caucasus is just gone. Um, the middle of Mexico has also just been cut in half. Uh, yeah, so there's like half of China and stuff is also just like not existing right now. And the United States also owns territory all over the place for some reason. Like, why does the U.S. own the middle of Hungary? I don't know, but uh, yeah, now nah, there's just been some issues. Very, very, very clearly. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're, we have to start a new series. We try to transfer these states around. Uh, the game just crashes, so there's not much we can actually do about that. So we'll just go back, and we'll slow up a game as, um, Japan. Uh, I did have a very, very, not load. I did have a very, very quick, um, nice play, pick chain, chain here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I had a very, very, very quick poll on the YouTube uh, channel. To see who would play. It was only it was only up for like ten minutes, but they they decided we will be like uh, Japan here, uh, mostly because you know they have a new focus tree. Uh, a few countries did get uh, focus trees, which is nice. It actually means something can happen in Asia, as opposed to version point oh one, where literally nothing happened because none of the AIs had focus trees to go on. So it's January first. Uh, what can we do uh, right away? I mean, I'm assuming one of these is actually open for us to click, right? I mean, it's actually, it's like a pretty big focus tree. Is there actually not a, uh... There actually, oh, apparently there actually is just no focus tree we can actually select right now. So we're gonna go for researches. Obviously get, uh, some of the basic stuff. Get the research timer. Get the industry stuff going. Okay. Then we got free civilian factories. We have 19 out of... We have 30 civilian factories. We have, uh, 17 military and 15 dockyards. So I'm going to immediately build a handful of civilian factories, and then we're going to build some military factories here. Uh, we have three military factories, and what do we actually have in stockpile? Basically nothing. We're starting off very, very fresh, obviously. Uh, how many troops do we actually have as well? We have um, 36 divisions. I'm going to select my entire army. Or I'll try to select my entire army. Put them underneath uh, this guy here. Put him underneath an ad or um, field marshal. Frontline him against the um, apparently army group one. Okay, sure. But you guys all go over there. I will slowly just start assigning people over there as well. I don't know where all my other troops are. We got guys here, but I don't think they need to be there. I'm assuming yeah, we have guys like all over uh, everywhere basically. But right now they don't need to be here. Oh, now there's too many. Uh, you know, all of you, except for you can stay back. I don't know what I'm going to actually do with you. But I guess you're also, you know, you can have like a guardian. Um, Just like an offensive thing here. Just guard all the islands, because that's going to be important probably at some point. Because we're probably going to go with the, with the United States. We're probably going to go war with the British at some point. And you're basically all just defending the homeland. Uh, except for Korea. Korea doesn't need to be defended right now, I don't think. How many guys do you need? 132 garrisons for that, but we don't need that. We don't need the lower resistance. We don't need guard forts. Really, only guard naval bases at the moment. And you should be fine. So we have all of our navy. Uh, let's kind of consolidate them into one big fleet. Look at that. Is that all of the Oh, there's so many navies. Holy hell. We'll combine you under one guy. Throw you under Field Marshal. We're probably going to need more rifles anyway, so build a few rifles, build some support equipment, build some artillery, planes, and all that good stuff. Three dockyards. I think they can already be upgraded. Submarine 2. If that's the case, then why are we even building Submarines 1? Get, get out of here, Submarines 1. Okay, I just don't want you. 
try to build up our navy. I'm gonna try to build up my navy a lot more this time because it's Germany. We just lost it immediately and that really screwed us over. Uh, on a sign division still. Train like two infantry divisions, train two tank divisions, and a motorized. We are not making motorized or light tanks. Okay, so build some light tanks, build some motorized. They can all have three and three. And that will act enough. Uh, no, let's at least get one more. Like that. And that should, yeah, get enough for there. We're also going to need a lot of resources. We're also going to have a lot of decisions available. Uh, so just a, yeah, just a 50 army experience to start off with. What other unassigned guys do we have? All of you guys are unassigned. Apparently also we still have too, too many guys here. I have a lot of unassigned guys. Theorike Alpha build point two. Thanks. Uh, only important events. Yeah, that's fine. Also, garrison this area. And you can be part of that garrison force. Uh, might as well put a guy in charge of garrison. Like, right now, we only have one land border, so... It's not super, super, uh... Important right now. I think really just defending, um... All of our islands is probably the most important thing we can do. Uh, you also should be defended. Are you in a group? You're not. Okay, so that's actually for everybody. Fantastic. Now we need oil. We get that for the United States. And then, um... We also need uh, Lumina, which we can get from the French. And there we go. So that's basically going to, you know, start us off for now. Where are all, uh, uh, all of our navies? A bunch of them are in the home islands. And just, like, select all the navies. Uh... Okay, all the boats just go here for now. That's fine. Just have everybody kind of combined in one place is what I kind of want. We'll have you guys basically just front line here. You know, just as like a basic uh, operation. The decisions. This is just the one, right? That we already did. At some point, we'll be able to do something. I'm not too sure when. I'm assuming it's uh, the September incident for here. Expand the Navy. Army first. Which I'm assuming is like somewhere in this tree. So basically, apparently we can't do anything here until uh, September. So we're going to go straight up to speed 4. The Indian Rebellion in 1935. We already read that event last time. I mean, it looks like they should like win. Like, they have 28 to 41 divisions against 1918. Like, it's pretty one-sided. I wonder if they changed that in the, uh, in the mod last time. So, yeah, these guys also have, uh, new focus trees in, uh, China. Which is good. The Rising Sun, while other nations, uh, were mobilized in the Great War of the early 20th century, has been a blessing for Japan, gaining dominion over many of Germans' former Pacific colonies. Japan has continually stepped in the spotlight of the world stage. However, the nations dabbling in democracy is still new, and many wish to corrupt it while still, uh, suit their wishes. Many farmers struggle with the rapid pace of modernization, and income inequality has exploded. The Zaibatsu, Japan's, uh, gargantuan, uh, conglomerates have, uh, continued to stifle entrepreneurship and innovation. Okay. That's fine. I mean, at least we're not at war, so we can actually send guys all around the, uh, all around the Pacific without risking that everyone's going to die. Which is generally a good thing. So right now we have the Gunbatsu. Uh, stability and political power gain. Right now the balance is... The rivalry is balanced. The Washington uh, Naval Treaty document output minus 25%. And air research time plus 10%. Well, that's disappointing, but what can you do? We have 186 ships to start off with. Oh, that is a ton of boats. We have a pretty fucking big navy. Um, so we're gonna select you, put you under a different admiral. And your your home base can actually be down here. Uh capacity zero out of thirty, thirty, ten. What's the capacity here? Sixty. How many ships do you have? A lot more than that. You have ninety three ships. But now we're down to 46. You have a level of 60. 10, 10, 10, 10. 
all these naval ports suck. Is basically what I'm getting at here. So you're gonna go to home base here. Uh, you can have this guy's admiral. Uh, you are 30. Do another one that's 60. You can go up there. Split this guy in half. You can, you know, you can also go to your home base. And your cons can't do. Uh, one of you guys needs to be deployed somewhere else. Kishu. Okay, you go over there then. So now that you know all these places are actually balanced, we have four fleets that we can kind of maneuver around in the future. We got basically white Russia over here prepared for a new purge. We got the Soviet Union. And, you know, apparently, like, there's been a, some reworking of the map. Uh, Romania is bigger than it started off with. Kingdom of Serbia is now all of Yugoslavia. Uh, most of these guys are not actually in the Soviet Union anymore. Renounce the Treaty of Washington. Dockyard uh, goes up by 30%. Does that do anything? Yeah, we'll just break the treaty. That's fine. Hopefully, United States doesn't care too much. So, we got the Civil War over here as well. Who's going to win out? Do any of these guys have focus trees? I, don't, I still don't think so. Which is kind of disappointing, but what can you do? We'll see who wins the Spanish Civil War. It's not a huge, huge deal to me who wins. A peaceful ending at midnight. King George V is dead. Very sad. So we'll see if, um... Also, is everybody in here in infantry? They are all infantry. Uh... I still going to play this guy here. Cause I'm sure, I'm sure there's one... Yeah, one infantry over there. Send the worst infantry to kind of guard uh, ports and stuff. Because without ports, the AI can't really, um, the assassination of the Sultan, yeah, that happened also last time. But I want all my best troops that are ready to fight this guy. Power of the Unions. Are you going to go Syndic- or, um, what are they called? Is it Collectivist? Just Socialist? Okay, fair enough. Um, the election of 1936. Uh, do Social Conservatives go up or Marco Liberals win? Um, who do I want to win? I, I'm, I'm going to go down the coup plot. Um, September incident. Public elections will not be held. Um, popularity of market liberals. Well, right now we're ruled by the social conservatives. So let's just see what happens if we go for the uh, market liberals. Okay, so now we're market liberal. And again, I'm assuming there's going to be, like, some coup event at some point. I mean, we're getting a lot of, um... Invitation to Paris Colonial Expedition. We shall participate, uh... We are not participating in politically charged display. Oh, uh, yes, this is the one, basically, where Germany and the Soviet Union were like, France is terrible. But we'll participate, because I don't care what the Soviets or the Germans think about us right now. And Japan has their eyes on colonization. Uh, the army or the navy. Definitely the army. I'm bad at Navy stuff, so I'm just going to completely ignore it. So we go for... We can actually do shit now, which is awesome. Planning of Sense, Grand Battle Plan, or uh, Mobile Warfare. Which one do I want to do? I usually go for Grand Battle Plan, so I might as well do that one. Strategic Bombing Doctrine Land. Um, This is for air stuff. We go for the Planning of Sense. 70 days, we immediately start um, 10 days ahead. Because we weren't doing anything for a long, long time. I got more dockyards. Somehow, I don't actually know where this dockyard came from. So we're making three submarines a year, we're making three destroyers a year. Heavy cruiser will be done in a year. Six months for a battle cruiser. Well, actually, air I've actually never used aircraft carriers ever. Never in all of Hearts Iron 4 have I ever used an aircraft carrier. Even though I understand. Um, also, we probably should be building some convoys actually as well. It's like, I understand that, uh, aircraft carriers in real life are extremely important. You know, that's how you project power on a world stage in, you know, modern times, but I'm also just bad at this game, so I'm going to ignore it. 
without Japanese support. Yeah, I'm not supporting any of these people. I'm going to try to invade and annex all of China. That's kind of the uh, the battle plan for now. The Indian Revolt. Are you guys losing? Probably because the British have actually shown up. And also, this looks like a complete disaster. What have you guys done to this border? What is going on here? Who's in charge? VD Savkar. Something keeps popping up in the decision tree, and I don't know why. It's probably just like a bug or something. Kingdom of Nepal, Tibet. Great Mongolian state. I'm surprised, like, why does Right Rush even exist? You think at this point they actually would have, um. The Paris Colonial Expedition, a few short hours ago, France declared it's a Paris Colonial Expedition, open affair, uh. It looks quite the experience. Political power plus 50. Fantastic. Decisions available. Um. Industrial Revolution. Build one uh, one building slot. Uh, no. We don't need one building slot. We're not even full on our current building slot, so I don't think that's actually important at all. Was there more than one? Privatized shipbuilding. Dockyard output plus 5%. Factory output minus 5%. They both kind of do the same thing. Oh, but this one actually adds four naval dockyards. So, you know what? For 75 points, we'll do it. For four uh, free naval dockyards. Um, you know, build more convoys because we actually do need those as well. Uh, we actually need more steel. Get that from the French. Like, what resources do we have right now? Supply areas, factions. We got steel, tungsten, tungsten... I know the oil is down here. Oil and rubber. So we're going to need to have to strike at the... Well, I can see a decent amount of rubber over here. We are going to need to have to strike at the uh, the British. No question about that. Uh, do they have oil, though? Uh, a little bit. Not like not too, too much, though. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, decent amount of territory in southern China. North China is basically worthless. The Russian Republic actually has a ton of resources in it for some reason. We like just, uh, world tension needs to be at 75%, probably because we went for market liberal. As opposed to do we need the responsible thing and going for the conservatives. So we can actually try to get this coup going underway. Hard popularity is only 35%. That is pretty bad. 2% politics, 8% 6% uh, national populist. Social Democrats. Libertarians, socialists, and national collectivist. Okay. Ignore all these for now. If we send the boats to do stuff, do they actually gain experience? I don't think so yet. You just convoy raid here. And you can also just convoy raid in the Sea of Japan. Just have our boats doing stuff, because why not? I mean, realistically, this would be a terrible idea because we're just wasting ship fuel. But, you know, there's no real fuel in the game, at least not until uh, the new DLC comes out. So until that point, we can waste as much fuel as we want. What are they going to do about it? How many troops do you have? Uh, 11 to 21 divisions with about 200, 2 million manpower, which is quite a lot. Successful negotiations with the Indians since the beginning of the rebellion. Oh, the rebellion actually didn't get crushed this time. The Indian uh, rebels have shown promise in taking the initiative and fighting against the British control of the subcontinent. And while Britain has since shipped large quantities of troops to the region to crush the revolt, the rebellion has continued to live on. In an effort to bring an end to instability in India, the British government has entered into peace negotiations with the rebel leaders in India. Information has leaked that some of these negotiations indicate that, that the British government has promised a significant amount of autonomy for India in the future. Interesting. British Raj. So there's still a um, there's still a colony. So maybe it's a slightly better for the Indian rebels, perhaps. Uh, research time minus three percent. Obviously, we want that ASAP. I mean, how many how many troops do we have right now? Just the 36 divisions. We're training up a handful more. Not too too many. Um, how is the recruitment actually going? Can we deploy troops in Korea? No. So it's got to be connected to the capital. But the answer is, it's not going great because we don't have enough infantry equipment. We don't have enough equipment in general. I'm missing 14,000 rifles, which I would say is quite a lot. Army modernization. Military uh, dockyard construction. We're not building any dockyards. 
improve military training. Both of these also just affect the same thing. They all do seem to affect dockyards. Oh, but two times for infantry weapons? Sounds good to me. 70 days. Let us go. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. I say anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you enjoyed, click the thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.